Good morning everyone, MMDA back on the road and right now they're looking at this vehicle that's parked on the sidewalk. Of course there are signs all the way along the road that say no parking both sides. Over here you'll see a ticket's being written out to this motorcycle that's parked on the sidewalk and they're also issuing a ticket to this vehicle. And the same for this vehicle here, you can see the ticket's been left on the windscreen. There are plenty of signs all along the road that say no parking both sides. And this motorcycle rider has been stopped for a dress code violation driving in slippers. That is 500 pesos unfortunately. And one more motorcycle rider unfortunately driving in slippers dress code violation and in fact here comes a tow truck for those vehicles that haven't been moved by the owners this vehicle here has actually been causing a headache for those vehicles that pull out of the side road and they're issuing a ticket over here driving in slippers also, the passenger doesn't have a mask, so he's hiding his face with his t-shirt at the moment. And his motorcycle on the sidewalk is also going on the back of the tow truck. And they just stopped this motorcycle rider here. Unfortunately, driver, passenger, no helmet. And unfortunately, the driver can't show a license. All he has is an avidavid of loss. It doesn't even include the details of the license. So it really doesn't mean much because anyone could print an avidavid saying i lost my driver's license there's no license number that they can verify or anything like that and the team are now issuing tickets to these tricycles for illegal parking if they don't pay their tickets they can't renew their registration but of course that assumes they're renewing their registration and further along the road more tricycles being ticketed for illegal parking some of them don't have license plates so if the driver doesn't come out it's impossible to ticket the vehicle and it would have to be towed away, impounded. According to enforcers, this rider ran away when they tried to stop him, but there are so many enforcers spread across the road they were able to capture him. It's only a minor violation driving in slippers. As long as he shows his license, they can issue a ticket and then send him on his way. I thought he was going to give his license, but suddenly he started arguing. The enforcer is showing him now that they've ticketed many people today. So let's see, will he hand over the license? Okay, there you go. You see that motorcycle rider suddenly turn around and go the other direction, obviously not wearing helmets. The thing is, they should think about their own safety, not just about their tickets. There are many signs along this road, no parking. Even directly underneath the sign, there's a parked motorcycle. The driver did come out so he can get the cheaper ticket by giving his license. And just behind the sign, two tricycles parked here. And here's something that property owners often complain about, having their private driveway blocked by parked vehicles. There is a one side parking scheme, so you can park along this side of the road, but not if you're obstructing someone's private driveway. Since there's no more tow trucks available, they'll just leave the ticket with the tricycle. It won't get towed away today. Someone from the barangay just came out and said that he's actually told them already they're not meant to park there. So it seems like they're aware. And the team are now writing out tickets to all of these vehicles, acting on an 8888 complaint. There's no parking both sides. There are a lot of vehicles parked along here including these two on the corner which actually made it very hard for the team to turn down this road and if you're wondering yes there are signs along the road no parking both sides what i don't understand is all of these properties appear to have very large garages where they could park the vehicles inside this vehicle has a pretty cool paint job some nice tints although i can imagine it's very difficult to see out of those especially at night if the drivers come out, they'll be given the cheaper ticket and allowed to move the vehicles. If they don't come out, they get the more expensive ticket. It looks like that tow truck is actually reversing up to this jeepney now to take it away. I think there's only one tow truck, he just suddenly arrived now. They've been trying to get this jeepney to start, but unfortunately, the engine's just not turning over. The gentleman here is just removing his dog that's tied to the jeepney, and then they'll tow this away. The driver that was trying to start this and move the vehicle couldn't even show a license and well I don't know it doesn't start it's a stalled vehicle so they will be towing this away and in fact that's one more car going up on a flatbed now and the team are now issuing a ticket to this one obviously you can see it's obstructing the sidewalk the team are now writing out a ticket to this one obviously parked directly below the sign that says no parking a lot of people say you need more signs, but a lot of people seem to think the signs are a challenge. 
they already got the license so they write out the ticket and then try and get the vehicle moved you'll see a no parking sign right next to it is a vehicle parked so they're asking now for the license from the driver